Hi everyone, uh, I'm Manuel Martinez. Uh, I will be your professor for uh, writing about literature, ENGL 102, for this semester, fall 2020. Um, and this short video is uh, just to welcome you to the class and give you a sense of what it is that we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm usually going to try and keep the videos fairly short uh, so you don't have to watch big long chunks, but I might have multiple vo uh, multiple videos at a time. So um, uh, usually I'll be here in this little box. Um, that's just how you'll, you'll see my face here. Uh, uh, and then I'll be showing you uh, um, either websites or other documents or things like that uh, that I'll be discussing. So what we have here um, uh, outside of my little box is the uh, initial page that you have on Blackboard. You should have already seen that uh, if you've gotten into this video. Uh, then you've gotten through this, but uh, this is just kind of the welcome page that we have here for that. Uh, and then, of course, when you access this video, you would have, if you look over to the left here, you can see August 26th through 27th getting started. Um, uh, and inside of there, um, uh, this video is not yet in there because I'm in the process of making it. Uh, but if you did look inside there, uh, you would see the syllabus. Uh, and that's one of the things that I want to be going over here. Uh, uh, start just getting a sense of what this is supposed to be about. Sorry, when I'm recording, my computer runs a little bit slow. And there's the document uh, for the syllabus. Um, so look at what it is that we're uh, trying to accomplish in here. And so uh, I've got two things on the syllabus, two items uh, there on the first page of the syllabus that are the course theme and the course description. So um, let's look, take them backwards in, in backwards order. Uh, so the course description says, in this course, we will continue to develop the writing skills you began working on in ENGL 101 by having you analyze literary texts. Uh, as I say here, literature can be complicated and elusive, which is what makes it an ideal subject for developing your writing skills. It is easy to communicate simple ideas, but to communicate the complex ideas we may have about literature, we must carefully organize our thoughts and compose sentences <clears throat> that are particularly clear and precise. So this is a writing about literature class, but mainly it's it's a uh, uh, the second writing class that you have. So the goal here is mainly to improve your writing. But the way I see it is that the reason we are writing about literature is that literature is something that's relatively complicated. Um, and we want something that's complicated because it's easy to talk about things that are easy, right? If you want to give somebody directions about where to go, if something's right down the street, uh, you can just point. It's, you know, it's over there, right? Uh, if you want to uh, tell somebody that you're hungry, you can do that by you just, you know, hungry and people will understand that, right? Pretty basic things. If you want to explain the complex ideas we might find in a poem or short story, you can't do that through hand gestures. Um, that is something that's really difficult to do. And one of the reasons then uh, that we want to do this is not because I expect that uh, later on in your life you're going to be explaining a lot of literature. Uh, instead, the, what I want you to do is have some practice describing something that's going to be complicated because uh, as you go out into your uh, other professions, go out into your, the rest of your, your life, um, you will encounter complex ideas that you will need to communicate with people. And so we want to talk about how it is that we can communicate these uh, rather complicated uh, ideas. Um, we also want to expose you to literature because I think the literature itself uh, is important in a lot of ways. And that relates to what I say here in terms of the course theme. So I say that uh, the theme of this course is who are you and what are you doing here? And through most of our readings and writings, we'll be exploring the ways in which America shapes evolving ideas of what it means to be American. We'll be especially focusing on the ambivalence to assimilation experienced by both recent immigrants and those native-born Americans who are not represented in mainstream American culture. So we're going to be talking about American literature specifically, uh, and even more specifically, we're going to be talking about literature that relates to, uh, as I say here, uh, um, uh, recent uh, uh, immigrants, native-born Americans who don't feel they're represented, Africans, African Americans, Native Americans, uh, things like that. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is kind of think about how the literature explores these ideas of what it means to be an American. Um, and so, again, we're practicing our writing, but I also want you to think about those ideas. What does it mean to be an American? Uh, and and some of these uh, uh, stories are going to explore these in some rather complicated ways. Um, I have this phrase here, ambivalence to assimilation. Let's think about what that means. Assimilation is when we adapt 
to a particular culture. And so if we have people who are going to be recent immigrants, they might start to uh, uh, adapt to some of the customs, traditions, language of, the, uh, uh, of American culture. They come from another culture, and, but they're going to adopt uh, uh, certain practices. That's assimilation. And then I say ambivalence. Ambivalence is when we have two different ideas about something. Okay, um, That is, if you have people who recently come to the United States, assuming they came here willingly, they want to be here, right? There is something that about the country that they want. Uh, and so assimilation makes some sense. If you're going to come, then you want to adopt some of the uh, elements of the of the place where you're, your new home, the new place where you're going to be living. Um, however, in adopting those new practices, uh, you have to give up something, right? Uh, and it may feel like, look, I came here and I wanted to, to uh, 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 live in this place. Uh, I, it feels good in some ways to make this place my home and to adapt to the culture. But wait a minute, I'm also losing something I left behind. And that's what we mean by ambivalence. Okay? Uh, and so that's a complicated idea, right? How is it that people can manage those uh, uh, two different uh, uh, feelings that they might have? And so since that's complicated, that's a good thing for us to write about. And that's one of the things I want to try and be doing here. Um, I'm going to scroll back up towards the, the, uh, towards the, the top of the, uh, um, uh, of the syllabus. And you see I've included this picture here, uh, Captain America. Uh, uh, Sikhism is a religion uh, that came from uh, uh, India. Um, and so many people who uh, uh, practice Sikhism in the United States, their uh, background uh, is, is from India. And so um, this is a uh, this guy was a kind of a comedian, uh, and he's coming around, walked around New York City uh, in a Captain America suit but he's got a turban on. And what he was trying to do with this is trying to kind of redefine how we might think about what it means to be American. That is, some people might look at him as Captain America and say, well, he doesn't look typically American. But he is American. He's an American citizen, right? Um, just because uh, he has dark skin and uh, 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 wears a turban doesn't mean that he's not actually American. But we have these certain ideas sometimes about what it means to be American. And so I put this picture here so we can kind of think about that, right? Um, uh, how do we uh, understand what it means uh, ultimately to be an American. And I think that there's uh, um, a lot to be said about, uh, 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 about that from, from this picture. So that's what I want us to be thinking about over the course of the semester. Those are the things we're going to be writing about. So now you understand on some level what the, uh, uh, what the theme is. Um, so uh, there are a couple of questions now that you're going to need to answer about what you've seen. And again, that's kind of the process that we'll go through with these videos. I'll keep them short, and then there will be a place where you're going to uh, respond. So you have an opportunity to uh, uh, respond to uh, questions uh, about what it is that you've seen now.